So what do roofing companies need most? Well, they need more leads and they need to follow up with those leads fast and over an extended period of time so they can convert as many of those leads into customers as possible. I recently worked with one of the biggest roofing companies in the Southeast to help them fix a huge problem that was costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. You see, they were spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month, but they were having trouble tracking where their leads were coming from and their follow-up team was dropping the ball and weren't booking enough appointments. So we came in and we built a custom high-level snapshot that helps them track where all of their leads are coming from, plus an SMS, email, and phone call follow-up system that literally follows up with all of their leads forever until they opt out. And we also integrated voice and SMS AI appointment setters to handle the appointment setting once the lead responded so that no follow-up fell through the crack. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire snapshot so that you can see how it works to help roofing companies book more appointments, get more customers, and make more money. And if you're a roofing company or you're an agency that works with the roofing company, Company and you'd like to get a copy of this snapshot, I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can grab your copy today. Now let's head over to the computer and let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to focus mainly on the most valuable workflows that are in this snapshot, and that's going to be focused on the lead tracking. So understanding which of your advertising channels are bringing the most leads and the most customers and the most revenue, and then also the follow-up system. So we have automated text, email, and phone follow-up, and we also have AI automatically dial and have a conversation over the phone with your leads and try to book calls, but also when a lead responds via text message, qualify that lead and then also book a call. If you decide to actually purchase this snapshot, I'll share both the voice prompt to actually call out the leads and book appointments that way, and also the prompt you're gonna need to have the SMS book those calls. Inside of the automations, you can see all of these folders are neatly organized in the way that the sales and marketing process happen. Let's actually go into the AI workflows and show you how this works. The first AI workflow here is Air AI voice. So this is going to basically send the lead into the Air AI system and the Air AI system is going to call that person on the phone, have a qualification conversation and try to book calls with that person. So the trigger for this is a simple contact tag add to Air AI. Once they come into this workflow, the system is going to push that lead into Air AI. The bot that is associated with this webhook is actually going to dial out that lead. If they get them on the call, they'll take them through the qualification prompt and then try to book the call. So that's how that works. The other system that is AI that's going to use SMS to try to book the call once a lead responds to our automated follow-up system is Consolidata. Now I've checked out a couple of different tools that will handle the SMS back and forth and book calls. One of those is Zappy Chat. You have Consolidata and then you have High Level's internal system, which is Conversation AI. I found that Consolidata is the best tool for this. Again, I will drop the link in the description if you're interested in that. So the trigger for this is when when someone applies via SMS, so we've got our automated systems going out, following up those leads. Once the lead responds via SMS, this webhook sends the lead into Consolidata and then all the magic happens on the back end. This is amazing. It works really well. All you need is really a prompt and to set up your OpenAI API with Consolidata and it will handle all the rest. Now let's actually go into the lead tracking system. So the roofing company that we were working with to build this snapshot, we're using 18 different advertising channels. So you can imagine when you're using that many different advertising channels, it can be a little bit difficult to track where your leads are coming from, where your revenue is being generated. To help them to solve that problem, we basically created a tagging system inside of this workflow so that every lead that came into the system, we know exactly where they're coming from and we can track that lead all the way to becoming a customer and generating actual revenue for the company. To find those workflows, we're going to click into this 01 new lead source tracking folder and we can see all all of the different workflows that we use to track those leads in the system. So let's go through each one of these and show you how they work. They work. So this first one here is going to be to track our Facebook ads lead form submission. So this is basically when you show an ad on Facebook, the lead clicks the ad, a form pops up right there in the news feed, and then the lead would fill in that form and that would be integrated with high level and it would push that lead information into the system. So that is actually going to be our trigger that's going to get people into this workflow. So that trigger is a Facebook lead form submitted. You would name it so you know which of the forms in Facebook are actually triggering this. And then you would select that form as a filter. And that would be the trigger to get people into this workflow. So once that lead fills out that form on Facebook, they're going to come into this workflow and then they're going to be tagged with a new lead tag. So that's going to trigger another workflow we're going to show you shortly, but that's going to be on all of the different leads that are coming to the system. We're going to tag that lead with the actual source.
source where they came from. So you can see the source here is source dash Facebook ads lead form. So now we know where that lead came from. And we're also going to create an opportunity in the leads pipeline in the new lead stage. And we're going to add the source for that particular lead in that opportunity as well. We also built forms inside of this snapshot. We used those forms on different landing pages on their website so that we can track each individual traffic source. So we have a form for Google business profile. We have a form for Facebook ads when we drive the traffic to a landing page. We have a form for Google PPC when we drive traffic from Google AdWords. And then we have a book online form, which is just a form that they had on their website, basic direct website traffic for that one. We have a Google LSA form, and then we have the Bing PPC form. Depending on which of those forms were submitted, this action here is an if else action. And it would basically segment these leads when they come in based on which of these triggers actually got them in the workflow. So if they filled out the Google my business profile form, it would divert that person over to this branch. They did Google PPC form, they would go into this branch and so forth. And basically what each of these branches does is the exact same thing. It's going to add the new lead tag and then it's gonna add that particular source. So you can see the Google business profile form was filled out here. They went down this branch and the tag for that source is source dash Google my business profile. And so we know that that lead came from Google business profiles. We would create the opportunity in the leads pipeline under new leads and add the opportunity source to that opportunity. Now, let me show you just another one for this particular lead. And this person is going to have filled out the Bing PPC form. That's going to get them into this workflow. This if else branch is going to send them down this branch here. New lead tag is added. And then the source dash Bing PPC tag is added. So we know that that lead came from Bing. And then again, the opportunity is going to be created in the lead pipeline under new lead stage. And then the opportunity source is going to be Bing PPC. So all of these different branches are going to act the exact same way. That was forms on Facebook. That was forms on landing pages. The rest of these workflows are being zapped into high level. They're going to be tagged automatically with the source of where that lead came from. They're also going to automatically get the new lead tag, which is going to trigger the other workflow I'm about to show you in a second. And then the opportunity would also be created in the lead pipeline under new leads. And again, that opportunity source would be added. So that's how all these additional remaining workflows are going to act. They're all going to be zapped into the system and then they're going to add the tag and the opportunity like I just showed you in the Angie's workflow. All right, so let's walk through the first day follow-up when a new lead is generated and added into the system. So to do that, we're going to go into the O2 new lead sequence folder here. We've got two basic things that happen and that's controlled by this workflow and this workflow. So first, the lead is going to be followed up via text and email with this workflow. And then this workflow is going to push them into the manual action sections of the inbox. And this is essentially a power dialer. So we're going to call this lead three times. That sequence is going to be controlled by this workflow. So let's take a look at both of these. Let's click into this one first one, the incoming new lead. And the trigger to get the lead into this workflow is going to be the contact tag new lead. If you remember our tracking sequences that we showed you earlier, all new leads are going to be tagged with this new lead tag. So that's going to push all of those leads into this workflow. The first thing that's going to happen, the contact field AI status is going to be turned to on. That's going to turn on the AI bot so that if this lead responds via SMS from here on out, that AI bot's going to take over that conversation and book the call. Then it's going to wait 30 seconds and we're going to send a text and an email. If that lead is not responded in 30 minutes, we're going to send another text message. If the lead is not responded in two hours, another text message. Then it's going to wait 22 hours. It's going to update the opportunity and move them to the drip campaign stage so that we understand that that lead is being followed up with and nurtured. Two more tags are going to be added. That's going to add them to, first of all, the short-term lead nurture workflow, which follows up via text and email. And then we're also going to add them to a power dialer that's going to call them three times per day over the next 21 days. So that's these two tags here. We'll show you those workflows in just a second. Now let's take a look at the bulldog call sequence. This is a series of three calls over the next you know, minute or so to try to get that person on the phone to book an appointment. So the trigger again is going to be the new lead tag and that's going to trigger a manual action. That lead is going to be pushed into the manual action sections of the inbox, which is again, the power dialer person in charge of following up that lead would just push the less start button and we would start to call the leads that are in this manual action section. If that lead does not answer that first call, 
then this is going to wait 15 seconds and then it's going to create another manual call in the manual action section and then the same thing if that lead doesn't answer in the next 15 seconds then it's going to push another third call into the manual actions and then the final workflow in this folder is going to be the bad lead workflow and essentially this is just when the pipeline stage is changed to bad lead meaning this is not a good lead for us we're just going to delete that contact now let's actually go in and show you the short and long-term nurture sequences all right so let's click into folder number three here and let's walk you through how we actually nurture this lead past the first day so the first workflow we're going to look at is this 21 day power dialer if you remember from the incoming new lead workflow at the very end of that workflow there was a tag added that said add to power dialer that's going to be the trigger that gets this person this lead into this power dialer and essentially what this is going to do is every day for 21 days straight at 8 30 in the morning it's going to add a manual call to the manual actions section of the inbox here where the person in charge of following up with leads can actually use this power dialer to call those people at 8 30 in the morning if they don't answer it moves to 12 and then pushes another manual call at that time at 12 p.m if they still don't answer they continue to the 6 p.m call so it pushes another manual call for the power dialer and then it waits again till 8 30 the next morning if they still haven't answered and then continues that process for 21 days straight so that's the first thing that happens now at the same time as that lead is being called each day using the 21 day power dialer they're also being followed up with via text and email using the short-term nurture workflow so let's take a look at that so once that lead goes through that initial sequence they're going to go into this short-term nurture and this is just a series of text and email that is dripped out over i believe 14 days once they've completed this workflow that tag is removed and then a new tag is added that says completed short-term nurture that becomes the trigger to get them into the long-term nurture so let's now take a look at this long-term nurture and see what that looks like after a lead goes through the short-term nurture they're going to be pushed into this nurture sequence first thing that is going to happen is we're going to update the opportunity and move them to the stage that is long-term drip that's going to tell us that they've moved past the initial nurture and now they're in the long-term nurture and this thing continues for 138 days once it actually ends it just recycles this person to the very beginning now if that's too aggressive for you you can just disconnect this go to but this workflow is going to go for 138 days and then if they end and they go through the entire workflow it's just going to move them back to the beginning to start the whole sequence over again so we're continuously following up with this lead forever until they either unsubscribe or we decide to take them out of the workflow now with all the follow-up built into the system and the ai appointment settings set up you're going to be booking a lot of appointments with this snapshot so when those appointments get booked we also have appointment confirmation and reminders if those appointments get canceled or no show we have workflows that the lead can be put into to automatically reschedule those appointments if you have multiple appointments appointment setters and you pay those appointment setters commissions we have a workflow that will track those commissions and those appointments being set by each appointment setter so that you can pay those people accordingly so the remaining workflows in this snapshot are really going to be very customizable one of the things that we helped our customer with when we built this snapshot is we helped them with their document creation so we helped them create contacts work orders those kind of things and the way that we did that is we hooked ghl up to pandadoc and we connected those two via zapier and then we pushed the information from GHL to automatically create the documents, send it to the client and have them sign it digitally. Now, a lot of those things you can do now internally in high level. So if you need some help with that, if you end up purchasing the snapshot, we can help you get all that set up. We also had an installation calendar inside of high level. So if you wanted to use high level as your installation calendar as well, we have that set up inside of this snapshot, send out the appointment confirmation and reminders for installation. We also have a production pipeline, customize it based on your production process. And then the final thing we have here is a review request so after the job is actually done you can automatically send a review request via text and email for whatever platforms that you want to try to increase your reviews on so that's it for this snapshot if you want to get a copy of this snapshot i'm going to drop a link in the description so you can actually go and purchase that and if you end up buying this snapshot again i'm going to give you both ai prompts one for the actual dialer that calls out the lead qualifies them and books a call and then one for the sms to follow up that's going to follow up with that lead qualify that lead and then book the appointment via text message. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.